unpredictability The milkman, the paperboy, the evening TV Good morning, Central Crossing, and welcome to Monday. I'm Gavin. And I'm Tyler. So it's a little bit colder today. What's happening out here? Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Ethan. And I'm Wolfgang. Here's weather for today. Walking into school today, it was a low of 24 degrees. Later on today, it will reach a, a high of 41 degrees and will be pretty humid and cloudy. That's all we have for today. Back to you guys. Thanks. Now let's check in with Omar for lunch. Good morning, sir. I'm Omar, and here's lunch for today. Uh, today, I will be having mac and cheese and uh, mini corn dogs and chicken patty sandwich. That sauce, right, right, uh, that sauce, that all sounds good. Right, that's all for me, a bacterium. Thanks, Omar, that sounds good. So spring break is just two weeks away, but before that, we have Comet Olympics. Here's the rundown. Everyone in the building will be wearing their class color. Freshmen are gray, sophomores are Comet blue, juniors are black, and seniors are white. And here's the information we have so far on t-shirts. Senior shirts have been ordered. Sophomores, your t-shirt money is due Thursday. The cost is only $8. Please see Maya Miller, Bailey Diles, Bridget Davila, Jorge Rangel Infante, Jordan Unger, or any other sophomore student council rep. And then, freshmen, your t-shirt money is due today and is only $6. You can see Gabriella Brito, Drew DeArmond, Trent Rivers, Madison Stutt, Caden Martin, or Haley Snodgrass. And juniors, if you have any info, please see Miss Musi in room 170 so we can pass that on to your entire class. And then, this year, we have, are doing something new. Our theme is bringing down the house. So each class has been assigned a house from Harry Potter. Houses will be Gryffindor, class of 2017. House of Slytherin, class of 2018. House of Ravenclaw, 2019. House of Hufflepuff, class of 2020. Also, as part of this year's Olympics, each student council group is creating a huge, at least 4x4 coat of arms. See a student council rep or advisor for info. As we get more information regarding signups, we will let you know. I love Common Olympics, but also I'm looking forward to spring break and then prom. I know lots of you ladies are already picking out dresses. Here's a program to help with that. Dresses for Divas assist financially burdened families so that everyone can attend prom. This year, they are right here in Grove City. On Saturday, March, 8, March 18th from 8 to 3 p.m., you can check them out at St. John's Lutheran Church on Columbus Street. To schedule an appointment, call the number listed below. And then, this is for you seniors. The Ohio PTA scholarship deadline has been extended to noon this Friday. You need to include a copy of your transcript and a letter of recommendation with a complete, completed application. There are three scholarships available to students through the Ohio PTA. The first is students attending a four-year college intending to pursue a bachelor's degree. The second is for students who have an IEP or 504. And the third is for students attending a technical college who intend to pursue a two- or three-year associate's degree. Scholarship applications can be downloaded from Naviance. Click on the College tab and on Scholarship List. Please visit the school counseling office if you need help assessing the application. And now, in club news, Handma Handmade by Me is meeting this Tuesday after school in the foods room. And then, Key Club meets this Wednesday. They also get together in the foods room. Plus, on Wednesday, Liter Literary Magazine and Writers Club is meeting in Miss White's room, 208, after school until 415. They will have snacks and will be working on entering submissions for this year's publication. See Ms. White and Ms. Barnes with any questions. Another group getting together is Comet Bible Study. They meet on Wednesday at 3.30 in Ms. Hoffman's room. Thursday, we have Guitar Club in room 180. And Friday is GSA with Mr. Osborne. One more thing we wanted to mention is that it is not too late to buy your yearbook.
Go to Jostens.com to order your yearbook. And this is awesome. Here are Jay's and Chance with some napping info. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Chance. And I'm Jade. Today we're going to be talking to you about National Napping Day. National Napping Day is observed annually the day after we spring forward. National Napping Day provides everyone with an opportunity to have a nap and catch up on an hour of sleep that they lost due to springing forward. Mid-afternoon naps are the most important part of cultures and scientifically proven to be good for you. A needed nap can make you feel better and also improve your mood. After having the extra amount of sleep, a person will notice they will be more productive and energetic. Numerous studies have shown that short 10 to 20 minute naps are the most effective when midday fatigue hits. Okay. Though there are some of us who are just not the napping kind. If you're able to reap those benefits, find a cozy spot for 10 minutes or so on National Napping Day. Take a relaxing nap and use hashtag National Napping Day to post on social media. So take a nap and make it good. I know I will. I know you will. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't even have to be a holiday for you to nap. Well, that's all we have for today. Back to you, anchors. That sounds great, and I can't wait to take a nap after school. Well, Central, enjoy your day. And your nap this afternoon. Have a great Monday. See you tomorrow, Central.